It bloomed, it bloomed. This is the psych notice wine delight that I've been I've been studying its buds for about a month and a half, maybe longer. I don't know. But finally they all popped open this week. Look at this. Aren't those special? But this camera and this light doesn't really do them justice. We need to take them out and give them the true respect they deserve. This is a pretty popular orchid. Many collectors have one in their collection. It was awarded a first class certificate from the American Orchid Society in 1984. And it's easy to see why the color, the size of the flowers, the number, and the fragrance. It's been described as cherry cough syrup. And I have to say, upon experiencing it for myself, it's exactly what it smells like. What a wonderful bloom to enjoy just before the holidays begin. Move over, Poinsettia. It's time for Psychnotes Wine Delight. I hope you've enjoyed her. Let's go back into the green room now and see what else is going on. I'm a little frustrated with this plant. Why? Well, because day, today, December 10th, is the Mid-America Judging Center's Judging Day in St. Louis. And if, and if these flowers had just been, oh, let's say, two days earlier, I would have been able to take them today, have this plant judged, and possibly, possibly, who knows, maybe even won an award. Of course, there's no guarantee of that, but I won't even get that opportunity because this plant's being so slow. Ah! This, as many of you know, is Bulbophila medusae, my favorite orchid. And uh, she is going to be very pretty, but, she, you know, it just takes a while for her to unfurl all these uh, flowers. But when she's all poofed out, you're going to miss it. Uh, it won't, it'll probably happen the next two or three days. It'll only last three days, four days, maybe, and then that'll be it. So next week I'll have to show you the video of what she looked like, because next week they will all be faded. Too bad that we didn't get to have her judged, but that's okay. I suppose, because at least all of my viewers, all of her viewers, sorry, will be able to enjoy her on My Green Pets YouTube channel. This little holiday cactus opened up its flower today. It actually had three buds, and then yesterday or the day before I came in and the buds were on the table, so I guess it decided that it was not ready for a three, a trio of flowers. <laughs> it didn't have enough energy, maybe. Who knows? But it's a nice little little bloom. It won't last very long, but pretty while it's here. Check out this guy. This is Mormodia Jumbo World, another catacetum type. And look at all of the buds. We've got some sweet buds down here, guys. That is going to be pretty nice when it blooms. Maybe this will be a New Year's orchid. Speaking of fat buds, we got some Phalaenopsis buds swelling up. Uh, this plant, I don't actually know what the flowers are going to look like. Um, someone who had nearly killed it gave it to me to save. Does that happen to any of you go, You guys? Like, people know that you can not kill plants, so they just give you dead ones, um, almost dead ones, and expect you to do something with them? Just more and more impressed with this little Schilleriana because it is spiking and its spike has got branches even though it's just a little bitty plant. Yeah, that's cool though. Um, I still don't see any buds on it. This is kind of my first time with a Schilleriana. So I'm not quite sure what the spike looks looks like when it finishes out, but it's, it's cool to see that it's got those little branches and maybe it's going to have a lot of flowers on it. Here's some more sweet buds in my basement grow room. Uh, this is another Phalaenopsis, and this one has white 
flowers with pink speckles. And if you actually look back uh, to my videos from this spring, you'll see this one uh, in bloom. It's kind of nice. Look at these two. My uh, flower scape is uh, quite different than it was last year at this time. Last year I had the uh, Paphiopedila Michael Kopovitz, which of course I still have, but it's just growing this year. And then I had, um, oh, the Zygopetalum was, in, was getting ready to bloom at this time last year. Let's have a look at it this year. Hmm, look familiar? I'm sure many of you who have tried to grow zygopetalums without success know the frustration of having the plant be beautiful one month and the next month leafless and yeah, this. So this is what it's looked like since uh, maybe March or so. And uh, yeah, who knows? I don't know what the heck is going on with this thing, but I'll keep it until it's, you know, a withered stick. But who knows, it might come out of it. Alright, well thanks for making your weekly visit to My Green Pets and see what they are up to. The winter blooms have definitely begun. And once the uh, Phalaenopsis start opening up and this uh, Catacetum uh, opens up, it's going to be a really nice show in here. So stay tuned and we will see you next week. Take care.